This might be the biggest leap in fighter jet technology in the last 50 years, and it's happening right now in Israel. Stay with me, because what you are about to hear will change how you see air power forever. Welcome to War Tech Analysis. We're pulling back the curtain on a secret engine breakthrough so quiet it has gone almost unnoticed. Israel, a nation famous for its smart military tech, has reportedly cracked the code on a new kind of fighter jet engine. This is not about small changes or tiny steps forward. We're looking at a full rethinking of power, stealth, and how long a jet can stay in the sky. This could make today's best fighter jets look old. So what makes this new engine so different from anything flying right now? The answer lies in a hard choice that has troubled jet designers for a very long time. You either get huge power with a big, hot, easy-to-see engine, or you make the engine quiet and hard to see, but you lose a lot of its power. This new Israeli engine, it looks like it breaks this old rule completely. Let's talk about how they did it. The secret seems to be in two big things, new materials and a smarter way to handle the extreme heat inside. Think about super strong materials made from ceramics and metals mixed together. These materials can handle crazy temperatures without breaking down. Then, there's a new design inside the engine for how air flows and how the heat is cooled. Together, this system is said to create an amazing amount of pushing power, what we call thrust, while keeping the heat it gives off very, very low. Why does that matter? It means a fighter jet with this heart can do three things better than any other jet. First, it can fly much faster. Second, it can make tighter, quicker turns. And third, it can stay over enemy territory for much longer, all while being a ghost to the enemy's heat-seeking eyes and radars. It simply does not show up the same way. This leads us to a big question. Is all this raw speed and power even the main goal? Or is this really about something more important? Survival. Let's look at what this engine truly makes possible for Israel's next fighter jet, the kind we call a sixth-generation fighter. Israel's Air Force has always been brilliant at taking a good jet and making it great. They are masters of upgrading. But this engine is not an upgrade. It is something brand new. It is the foundation for a completely new fighter jet built from the ground up around this powerful, quiet heart. This engine does not just power a jet, it changes everything the jet can do. Picture this, a pilot is flying deep into enemy land on a secret mission. With this engine, the pilot can turn down the heated makes to almost nothing, slipping past enemy defenses unseen. But if the enemy finds him and a fight starts, the pilot can command the engine to give full, monster power instantly, without the engine burning itself out, thanks to that brilliant cooling. Because the engine is also lighter and uses fuel better, the jet can carry more weapons, more spy gear, or just fly much farther from home. This is not a jet for just one job. This becomes a flying base of operations that can do almost any mission you ask of it. It can hunt other planes, it can bomb targets on the ground, it can spy from high above, all in the same flight. But surviving in a war is not just about dodging the first missile shot at you, it's about staying alive through the whole battle. This is where another magic trick of this engine works. By making its heat signature so small, it becomes a nightmare for the enemy's heat-seeking missiles. They have a much harder time finding it and locking on. Because it sips fuel so efficiently, it doesn't need to fly back to a tanker plane as often. It can loiter, wait, and watch. Or it can run high-speed, high-power moves over and over, without worrying about running out of gas. Also, this engine is built tough. It is made to handle the crazy stress of fast turns, high gravity forces, and rough desert airfields. The pilot knows this heart will not fail when it is pushed to the absolute limit. That confidence is a weapon in itself. In the wars of the future, being seen first means losing the fight. This engine pushes that moment to being seen far, far away. It gives the pilot more time, more options, and more chances to win. So, what does this mean for Israel in the world? The effects are huge, like an earthquake in military power. For Israel, this engine locks in their rule of the skies in a very tough neighborhood. It's the ultimate deterrent. For any country that might think about challenging them, this is a massive problem. Their current anti-air missiles and radar systems are built to find and track older, hotter, louder jets. 
This new engine makes those defenses much less useful overnight. Military leaders all over the globe are now looking at their own plans and asking, how do we catch up? This one piece of technology doesn't just make Israel's air force better, it shakes up the balance of power in the entire region and starts a new, frantic race for the best sky technology. And the story doesn't end with fighter jets piloted by humans. What happens when you put this same amazing engine inside a drone? The ideas are mind-blowing. Imagine a drone that has this same stealth and this same power. It could fly into the most dangerous airspace, places too risky for a human pilot, and take pictures or even strike a target without ever being seen. It could fly alongside Israel's man jets as a loyal wingman controlled by the human pilot. In a fight, a human pilot with two or three of these drone wingmen becomes a tiny, unstoppable air force. The enemy wouldn't know what to shoot at first. This engine breaks down the wall between jets with pilots and jets without pilots. It allows for a whole new kind of air team, a mix of both, working perfectly together. This is the future of air war. Around the world, the reaction is changing from simple interest to real worry. Other powerful countries are definitely speeding up their own secret engine projects right now. They are trying to make their own version, or they're looking for new friends who can help them match this jump in technology. This engine is more than a new part for a plane. It is a key that can change who is strong and who is weak in a very important part of the world. Looking ahead, the whole idea of a fight in the air is being rewritten. Future battles will be won by the pilot who sees the enemy first and stays hidden the longest. This engine makes that possible. It points to a future of swarm tactics, with many drones, of computers helping pilots make instant choices in missions that last for days without landing. The smart ideas from this engine will one day help make better passenger planes and super-fast travel, but its first and most important job is to protect the sky. Let's be clear, this secret engine breakthrough from Israel is much more than a shiny trophy for engineers. It is a tool that changes the game. It makes every part of air war stronger, survival, distance, flexibility, and sheer fear for the enemy. The big question now is not if this technology is real, the proof seems to be there. The real questions are, how soon will it fly in a real jet, and how will the rest of the world try to answer this move? One thing is absolutely certain, the standard for being the best in the sky, for having air superiority, has just been raised higher than ever before. The race for the future is on, and Israel has just fired the starting gun. If you want to stay ahead of these world-changing military developments, your support is crucial. Please like this video to help the channel grow, and make sure you're subscribed to War Tech Analysis. Let me know in the comments, which nation do you think will be the first to field a comparable engine? Thank you for watching.